And if you struggle with allergies and sensitivities or live with people who cope with such, then I have the solution for you. More than 40% of children and half of adults with food allergies have experienced severe reactions such as anaphylaxis. My app, APP Allergy Protection Program, can and will solve this issue with ease. There are far too many people around the world that are consuming products they are allergic to, solely based on the fact that they cannot understand the ingredients list. What my app does is identifies and highlights specific allergens and products by allowing the user to scan the ingredients list. It is creating a brand new way of eating, which ensures safety and fosters independence. Not only does it help identify allergens, but it goes a step further and provides alternatives for products that cannot be consumed. The anxiety of eating is a thing of the past. Currently, the design for the app is completed and we are transitioning into the coding stage. I am asking for funding support as an initial startup cost to create an app of my scope is $5,000 to $50,000. While pricing has not yet been determined, my goal is to make the app as affordable as possible while also being able to afford regular maintenance and updates to the app. I have many friends and family near and dear to my heart that struggle with this on a daily basis. Some have had close calls, which has helped me realize the importance and the severity of such a condition. There's so little known about allergies in the scientific world that the only available solution is management. According to doctors, more than half of children with food allergies have had life-threatening or traumatizing experiences, which my app could prevent. I dream of a world where these statistics do not hold true. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you can help me make my dream and your future tool a reality. Thank you. Hi. My name is Dawn and I own the online curated vintage clothing shop and social medias of Dawn Vintage. In today's day and age, more people are purchasing their clothes from fast fashion brands above any other means of consumption. This translates to an increase in fabric waste and pollution, as well as just a decreased amount of people with closets full of clothes that are unique to them and that they know will last them a lifetime. That's where I come in. Not only am I passionate about conscious consumption, but I have a love for vintage clothing. It brings me so much joy reintroducing vintage styles and reviving these past fashions, which in turn is actually low airing clothing consumption. Did you know that about one in three young women consider an item of clothing old after only one or two wears? On top of this, the fast fashion industry creates 92 million tons of waste a year. That's 102 billion pounds of trash. My target market is young adults and middle-aged fashion lovers that want to shop local or simply get away from fast fashion or corporation brands. I provide a niche style that is feminine, classic, and cottagey, and I consistently attract those who are looking for a quality, happy feeling, and sustainable wardrobe that expresses their individual style. We all love buying things that make us feel happy. Because I source, style, and sell pre-loved clothing in person and online, um, my customers can shop with a clear conscience. Thrifting is already my hobby and something I would do regardless of my business, and it is also very low cost. This allows me to make low investment but yields high profits, all while keeping my prices affordable for customers, ranging from $10 to $100. As of now, I have made about five clothing sales for a total of around $100. If you, by supporting my small business, you are helping me save vintage clothing that has history. Um, I apologize, sorry losing my spot there in my script. Um, oh my gosh. By supporting my small business, you're helping me save vintage clothing that has history, which in turn is lowering clothing consumption. Um, thank you so much for your time. If you're interested in what I do, please consider following my social medias at Updawn Vintage. In 2020, I opened business after a photograph that I captured of my grandfather made my grandmother come to tears. I can remember that she was speechless and she was in awe when she saw the man that she married when she was just 20. There was my purpose. I found a reasoning. I connected a person to a photograph, something that seems simple, 
yet is so deep, so beautiful, and so compelling. And for me, that was the spark that I needed to light my fire. Hi, my name is Luke Levesque. I am the sole proprietor of a young and fresh photography service in the St. John and surrounding area, and I'm in business for you. Since I've opened business, I've had 30 photo shoots, which for me is a number I never ever believed that I would get to, and I'm very proud of myself and the work that I've put in. I have four reoccurring clients, three families, and one single client, and they would testify that I value them. I value my clientele, and I value my art and my craft very, very seriously, and I strive with every photo shoot to be the best me for my business and for my clients. I offer my clients a fun, affordable, and new photography service. And I cater to couples, families of any size, and single portraiture because everybody needs a good photo. I work with my clients from the start until they're finished of their time with me by building them a preparation guide, a style guide on what to wear, what not to wear, the best locations, and then I deliver their gallery via online or via tangible by a USB or CD. When I get behind my camera, I capture your most authentic, your most raw emotions. I capture that love at first sight feeling, that you're the one for me feeling, and that big happy family feeling. Full of story, couched in love, and I create a truly unique and magical photography experience. So what am I asking for? Here I am seeking clients. I want to build the diversity of my clientele and open up my traffic. So I'm asking you to send anybody who knows that needs photos done, send them my way at Luke Levesque Photography on Instagram and Facebook and book a photo shoot with me, the photographer with the fresh eyes and make both of our dreams come true. Thank you. Just a little over two years ago, I made an enormous move from Ontario to New Brunswick. When we got to my new house, my dad and I noticed our furnace looked a little different. We did some research and discovered that we had a geothermal heat pump. Neither of us have ever seen one of these before. The next winter, I noticed there was a spot in our ditch where the snow never formed. After doing some pipe tracing, we found this was a dump pipe for the excess water from the ground from the geothermal heat pump. I started to wonder, all of this extra energy just being poured into our ditch, why don't we make something of it? My name is Connell Jackman, and this is what inspired me to make use of energy that is being wasted. With this inspiration, I started my company, Green Heat Solutions. I help people with homes and or standalone buildings heat their buildings with a net zero source to get rid of that huge monthly cost with a one-time payment, unlike the leading brand's electric heat pumps costing you thousands a year. Our goal is to one day heat and cool homes all over the world with a net zero one-time payment option using a few pieces of metal flashing in an enclosed container covered with polycarbonate, we have used a greenhouse-like effect to act as a secondary source of heat for your home. One of the biggest challenges my clients face is repetitive incommeeting prices of heat. I help them solve this challenge by providing a net zero source with a one-time payment. I am asking for a loan of $2,500 so we can build our first four models and sell them to get our name public. The sun releases of almost 1400 watts per square meter. Why aren't we making use of it? Thank you. So I've created a podcast where I help teens and young adults navigate their way through the end of their adolescent years, understand their feelings, and relate to people who are just like them. My goal is to help them improve their quality of life. This all started on September 17th, 2019. I was sitting in a coffee shop across from a food hall where all of my friends were eating lunch when a man jumped off the top floor and died right in front of them. I remember walking back into the school and seeing the students lining the hallways and running out of my French class crying to the counselors. I didn't know what to do and I didn't know what to say. I'd never been through anything like this and the only people who do know what to do are those who have been through such traumatic experiences. This is where my idea came from. I wanna give a voice for these people to tell their stories. One of my obstacles that I faced while creating this idea was whether or not I could compete with other popular podcasts aimed at young people. But I realized what makes mine different is its level of authenticity and realness that the rest of them just don't have. 
For instance, in one of my episodes, I sit down with my best friend, Avery Allward, and we talk about some of the highs and lows that she's faced while being a competitive athlete and playing with her friends and how that's affected her. Now, to some, might this, this might just seem like a small issue, but for us, these are real problems that shape the people we are today. I think that this podcast has the opportunity to succeed because it's real and it's innovative and it's a platform for people to tell their stories in a popular and accessible way. So I ask that if you or anyone you know could benefit from listening to this, that you find me on Spotify or on anywhere that you listen to music.